Hello, sweet friends and crafters. Welcome to Carol's Craft Cottage. I'm super excited to have you join me today as I am featuring a project in my Cottage Girls series. This is the Cottage Girls Junk Journal Kit from My Porch Prints. First, before we begin on this project, I do wanna say I'm sorry for the specimen slide tutorial. I will be doing part two that will complete the project for you so you can follow along and craft with me. I know several of you have purchased this kit. I'm really excited that you want to craft with me and I have gotten a lot of positive feedback on this series where I'm showing you how to do the projects and then I will reveal everything at the end. And I really appreciate that feedback from you all. So let me go ahead and share the die with you. So I purchased this actually to make lanterns for my son's wedding and it came too late for me to do that. And I'm really disappointed because these would have been so beautiful for what I wanted them for for the wedding. So I'm going to leave a link to this die below in case you want to make this as well. And this is a Nicole Silhouette die. So I won't be doing a tutorial because Tracy Farr has a tutorial and that's the tutorial I use to create my lanterns. And it's very easy to follow along. The only thing that I did different was I, I did my lantern on white paper and then I cut the piece again on the designer paper that is included in the junk journal kit. I believe there's 12 different designs and I just cut it again and cut off the tabs in the bottom and glued it on top of that. And I cut two of this uh, ring on top so that that would be covered in designer paper. You do get this piece to cover the window uh, so you don't have to do anything special with that. And then you can just do the bottom of designer paper, but I did it in white and then I just covered it with designer paper by just cutting the tabs off and applying it. So I did it on the top and the bottom as well. And there is a, a white piece of Georgia Pacific cardstock in between those two. So this is super, super sturdy for a lantern. It doesn't feel like it's going to get crushed or collapse or anything. It's very, very sturdy. Nicole does a wonderful job with her designs to make them very sturdy. So as you can see, there's like two different little levels here and that really firms this up. And the little cover on top of here snaps into this which is wonderful because you can actually hang this as long as you don't put anything too heavy in there you could actually hang this lantern but it just pops off and you can see the bottom i also have white georgia pacific under here and then i put the designer paper just to coordinate it all for my flowers i had told you before i had a lot of uh, I'm going to snap this in. There we go. That's how easy it snaps in. See, it's ready to go. So I had a lot of my peonies left over. So I have been using that in this set because this is uh, sage green was the wedding color. And there's a lot of sage green in this paper. So I used a lot of these leftover peonies. I had made these flowers for the tops of my napkin holders and I just saved them all and they are coming to good use. And that particular die, I'm not sure, I think I've shown it before in another project, but I'm gonna go ahead and show it to you now. If you would like for me to do a peony flower making video, I can do that for you. It comes with, let's see, this comes with, I think, one, two, three, six leaves. And I just used bundled sage to color those. 
So that's what this die is. If I can find it, I will link it below for you. Again, let me know if you want a project video on how to create the flowers. And then for this flower right here, I had shown this to you when I showed you the cards. This is the die, and I will link this below for you. And if you want a tutorial for this flower, let me know, and I will do flower tutorials for those. And these, this is the peony again. It's just a smaller version, just using the smaller flowers. And then I just used uh, the that right there from this uh, flower set for the leaves on this. And as you can see, I did tie a little bow right here, and I glued it. And then I used this for my stash. I believe I got this off of AliExpress. I'm not sure. Like I said, if I can find it, I'll link it. So I cut the panels. So I cut one right here. And as you can see, I glued it right there. I put a little hot glue. Then I cut another one and I put it right here. So that's how I achieved this. And I do like the lace on the top. It makes it very, very elegant. The other thing that I used that I showed, I believe, in the specimen slide video was this die. And I did use this one again. I do use this a lot. This looks really, really cute on the lantern. So I just chose one of the girls from the Fussy Cut set. And she's just glued onto there. And I'll turn this over so that you can see it. It's really, really pretty. Now I had a tea light in here, but I think I'm going to go to Hobby Lobby and get some votives or maybe a, a little bit bigger um, battery operated tea light. So this is four and a quarter inches wide. So these are a good size. And this is about 10 inches tall with this top here, maybe nine and a half, nine and a half inches tall. So this is a really good size. You can see with my hand next to it, how big this is. It's beautiful. I love these, love, love, love. Here's the pink one. And you do get this pink gingham in the Cottage Girls set. It's a very pretty paper. And I chose this little girl. And I always put a little bit of uh, diamond stickles on the flowers just to make them sparkle, to go along with the sparkle on these flowers. As you can see, I'll just turn it around. I did use some walnut, was it walnut? I think walnut distress ink on the edges of the paper just to give it a little bit of a vintage look. And then this one I did a little bit different. The background, instead of doing white, I used craft and I like how that came out. And here's that pretty girl. You can see the little sparkles on the little flowers on her hair and on her dress. Really, really pretty. These are so sweet, I love them. And then they all do have acetate uh, windows in the windows, by the way. <laughs> and then this one I made for me. Uh, when I was doing my home improvements, I made a, my guest room is a green and a white. It's very, very shabby chic looking. And this will go really pretty in my room. It has uh, the green with touches of the shabby pink color. So this is going to look beautiful in the room. And this is going on the nightstand. It's so, so pretty. I love it. All right. So that is my project share for today. I'll link the lantern again, the 
lantern die in the description box below. And I will also have a link to Tracy Farr's tutorial to put this together. Again, if you want me to have a tutorial on doing the peonies or the other flower, I'm not sure what the other flower is called. It's very shabby looking. It's almost like a shabby rose. So that's what I'm going to call it. If you would like a tutorial, please leave that in the comments below and I will go ahead and do uh, each of those flowers in a tutorial separately for you. I'm going to go ahead and do the finishing touches on the specimen tutorial and I'll have that for you as well. And then I'll have more upcoming projects in this Cottage Girl series for you this week. So if you would, hit that subscribe button, mash that notification bell so you'll know when my videos are up. As always, I appreciate every single one of you. And remember to spread kindness like confetti wherever you go. And until next time, happy crafting, everyone. Bye-bye.